Hello, I'm Ike. He's Tazai, and we're here again to talk about comics. And obviously, the person behind behind him is Alexandre Tresse. And I should have taken earlier to discuss this, and we're going to discuss it now. This is Tresse Bloodlines by uh, all the many people listed here. I'll give the bigger version later, but primarily headed by Sir Bujatan. Okay. Uh, to clarify, this is a spin-off series. This is not the uh, main Trece series that has seven books. This is the spin-off series where even if Alex Trece, Alexandra Trece is the one in front, she's not um, the, 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 the emphasis of this series. This is the first book series for the for the Tresses spin-off under Avenida, meaning the, the Tresses series started at Visprint and will be continued by Avenida. This one started with the Avenida books. Okay, so so yeah, Visions of Miranda Trece, art by story by Sir Budget, art by Sir Kajo, um, gives the basic prophecies about uh, Alexandra Tresa's mother and the back and the prophecies for each of the siblings so this is the eldest si, si, si Carlo this is the professor and then yeah Kambal and Si Father Matthias, si Jimmy Trese, and so on and so forth. Yes. Yeah, and so, they give the basic and, and Alex herself. Okay, so these are the basic backstories and uh, things that you probably should be going back to when uh, more of the Trese official volumes come out. So, hopefully, some of these will are expected to um, be uh, mentioned again. Okay. And then, starting with this one, I will be careful with the with the pages that I show because some of these are uh, very uh, creepy and uh, scary. Yeah, yeah. So starting with this one, uh, Takutan uh, uh, Verdugo Mission, meaning this is the story of uh, Alexandre Tres's eldest brother, who who is the Verdugo. So. Um, So, uh, Carlos goes into the lair of the upper level Aswang demon, demons of Manila because they uh, were doing, they, they are accused of uh, killing several females. So, uh, Alex has to do her thing, but also... Carlos wants to be uh, tougher with them as it is. Uh, Verdugo, by the way, was the was the one by Sir JB Tapia that was in Facebook some months ago before this official book came out. Okay, so yeah, and be aware that this uh, it's a Tresy thing, yes, but it also has uh, scary panels like this. So um, if you uh, know, be aware that it has this and. It doesn't pull back, especially in when, when in the other stories. So, and so, yes, they fight over things. Ang ganda ni, ano, <laughs> ni Alex here. Okay. And then, yun. So, yun. So, this is the second story, That Kind of Hunger, by... Uh, so, covers uh, Father Matthias Trece. So, uh, this is one of the problems I have with uh, with this book. It's really nice, of course. As you can see, it's very, very well detailed. It's uh, very has a lot of uh, detail to it. Very nice illustrations to go with it. Um, but yun. um, and it's Sir Dave with Hontiveros got. Uh, <laughs> a lot <laughs> wrote a lot of text to go along with it 
that has backstory for this case of uh, that um, Father Matthias is checking into about a uh, 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 suit as neto? a seer who can see into the future and then there's a small cult that takes advantage of this for business deals and other things but uh, these kind of things have a price to, to pay and Father Matthias has to be suspicious yeah. so and has to investigate so has to penetrate this this uh, small cult and get to the bottom of what's going on so that's what this is be aware that after some of the pages that I am showing there is gore there is uh, it gets gory it's really gory <laughs> okay so uh, be aware that that it happens in this story there's also something like this by uh, mostly by Sir David Hontivero so uh, case files ba of the of the creatures that were in this story and and there's another case file about uh, the creatures in the earlier story if you if you're interested in reading it okay um, and next two accounts are deviation meaning um, they have characters that are not directly involved with the with the Trece universe but are part of this uh, part of this book as crossovers because of uh, friendships <laughs> which is it's cool it's cool I promise okay for instance this one so father Trece uh, goes to uh, goes to save uh, Dakila of uh, a, a superhero created by Sir David Hontiveros for uh, and then Dakila kasi goes into this uh, ayan, small small story first and then ayan, Dakila finds himself as in this uh, meeting of uh, supernatural creatures and Father Matthias has to save him from this before things get really, really bad for the Kila. And so they have to save each other and then they have to work together. It's it's, it's nice. It's cool. Okay, and then and more panels from this story and it's cute. They they work it they work together. It's it's really cute. And then Lastly, this is the, the last story in this anthology. This is Personal Demons. Uh, so, Alex Trece is in this story, but along with the detective by uh, Sir Budget's relative, Randy Tan, uh, Detective Andara. Before I turn the page, this case has uh, clowns of the scary kind. So, if you're that kind of person who doesn't like clowns, uh, I am warning you now. You can... Uh, you can decide what you want to do to protect yourself against that kind of scary thing. Yeah, but I'm not. Uh, yeah, up to you to find out why there's scary clowns in this. So yeah, so this is Sir Kaja work. So yeah, and this is Alex's new hairdo. Up uh, updated hairdo for 2020, I guess it's. Um, it's okay and suits suits the times I, I suppose yeah and yeah and she has to work with uh, detect with the detective to uh, find out this series of murders and um, get find uh, find a supernatural answer for the kidnapping and the killing of children involved in this case and again afterwards stuff by sir budgetan pictures and uh bios uh, and then yun, back of the book okay so yun. yeah okay so this is the back of the book and again, the front of the book. I'm probably not giving the best justice to Trece. Okay, so again, once again, this is a spin-off series. Um, this for focusing more on Trece, on Alexander Trece's siblings, less on Trece herself. But it's also important in its way because it yeah, it will focus on the siblings and 
that information also bears weight on Alec Alexandra herself. So, yun. So, so, I hope you still get this series also. It's it's also, it's important for those reasons given above. Um, that it's it's about Tres's siblings and and their influence on Trese and how their choices in life are different from Alexandra's and therefore that's a contrast that makes you understand Alexandra better. Uh, because of the conf the differing choices that her brothers made in life and therefore how they fight uh, the supernatural differently compared to to Alexandra so you get to know the the brothers better you also get to know Alexandra better in this way okay also while you're while you're waiting for more official Trese content this is still great masterful work by um, comiqueros that deserve your notice so and so for those reasons I hope you get this book again be aware that uh, this book is similar to the rest of Trese has uh, has parts that have uh, gore in it has violence in it has blood and and guts in it so uh, if you're that kind of person who wants to avoid those things uh, think it over but um, if you um, but this is Trese, so um, it's a feature, not a bug. So uh, think it over if that's if 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 um, if violence and guts are not exactly your thing. Okay, but that said, uh, this is a incredible work by incredible people who know how to tell a story and know how to deliver a. Um, a story among us so please support them and and support Trese especially as it keeps going on so yeah so finally I'm Ike he's Dasai and we hope uh, please like this video thank you and we hope you like this video please continue to read and please continue to enjoy Pinoy comics thank you